Hello and welcome to Casey Coding Tutorials. I'm Casey. I'm going to show you today how to get your computer working with a static IP. First thing you're going to do is go to your start menu. You can either type in this you can either type this in in the search bar here or click run. And what you're going to type in is the letters CMD and hit okay. It's going to bring up a little back black box here. And uh, we're going to type in the letters IP C O N FIG, that's IP config. Just going to hit enter. Uh, it's going to be a whole bunch of data that pops up. Just leave that for now. So you're going to go over top of your network connection on the taskbar. You're going to go to Network and Sharing Center. You can open up this window. Then you're going to go to Manage Network Connections. Now you're going to right click on your network connection. If there's multiple, figure out which one you're using. Really, you, all you need to do is click on the one that suits what you're using it for. So this one, since it's got the little Ethernet icon, is Ethernet, and that's what I'm using. Go to Properties. It's going to ask you to type in a password, so you're just going to type that in quick. Next, you're going to go over IP Protocol version 4, because that's the protocol we use nowadays. You're going to click Properties. Now right now, it says to obtain an IP address automatically. That's how you can get an IP address from your router. You're going to click use the following IP address and insert your own. So you're going to type in the IP address, and you're going to type in the IP address that popped up in this box. So look for IP version 4 address. So mine is 192.168.1.101. But make sure you look on yours. You hit tab. It's going to fill in the subnet mask for you. That should typically be 255.255.255.0. And your default gateway. Your default gateway is also shown in command prompt. It's probably one of the last things. And you are going to type in your default gateway. Mine is 192.168.1.1. Alright, now you're going to click OK. Close. And you're all done. You now have a static IP address on your computer. So if you're running a server, you're not going to have to worry about your IP address changing all the time. So this is Casey from Casey Coding, and I'm logging off.